Hello, Trade Pros. This is Victor from Trade Pro Academy, and today we've got another Sierra chart video for you. As you can see on my screen today, we're going to be talking to you about the multiple different ways of actually trading on Sierra chart, the platform. We'll talk about the pros and cons of each way and identify which way may be best suited for you. But first, if you guys are new to this channel and you like to be informed on all things markets, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell to notify you when we do go live, and let's get started. So in front of me on my screen, we've got just a simple four tick range bar with all the studies here. Now, the most common way to actually start trading on Sierra chart is if you do open a DOM, a depth of market. So if I open a trading DOM for chart, you can see we get the S&P 500 trading dumb up because I opened it for this chart. This is the S&P chart. Now, the trading dumb here, we do have a video on that, actually, so you guys can go and check it out to customize the actual dumb and how to use the dumb properly. But the basics are outlined for you. There's a buy column and a sell column, the offer column right here, and the bid column. What you can do is either set limits on the actual bid. You can see a confirmation window pulls up. So let me just go ahead and unlock the trading here. And you can see whenever I click a confirmation window pops up, if I hit yes, you will see a bid actually gets added at this level 73 half. You can either set a limit here on the sell side and add a sell limit at that area 77 half. So wherever you click on this sell column, you will add a limit. If you click right here at market, you will sell at market right here anywhere along the sell column you will actually sell at market. So what does that look like? If I hit here, hit yes, you will see that I automatically get into a short position. What I could do to get out of this short position is either hit, click the bid right here, so when it comes down, I will buy back my short. If I get filled, there you go. Or I could have hit the flatten button. Now, as you can see, when I place the limit, this pesky little modification confirmation box comes up. So if I actually go into confirmations, unselect confirm new orders i can freely freely just click on the dom for the sell side and set limits now if i'm selling above the price obviously it'll be a sell limit if i sell below it'll just get you in a market order the same thing goes for the buy side the bid side now what i can do is actually use attach orders and this will represent and this will create a bracket order actually so the bracket order you can see the targets here this is the target and the stop so i can change these down here the limit offsets how many ever ticks I want. Now what I could do is actually buy market or sell market here. This is the general use of the DOM. So I'll do my analysis here, go over to the DOM and actually click wherever I wanna buy or sell depending on my analysis. But this is a larger actually, this is a larger tool, a larger DOM that might get in the way if you have one screen, so it might not be optimal. But this is the main way to actually trade on Sierra Charts. It's, it's a really cool way. Um, the DOM is super useful. You can see it does represent a lot of values here. And this is actually what the TPA DOM looks like. We've customized it. You can see we've got more studies and you can freely select the bids or the offers to sell. Now, if I pull this up, this is the attached window. I've actually detached it. If you go into trade right here, open trade window for chart, this is what pops up. You can see it's full of little buttons, buy, sell at market, buy, ask, buy, bid, buy, sell, bid, whatever it is. And these buttons are key right here. You, you've got the flatten button, which actually flattens your position if you're in a position, cancel all, cancels all your limits. So be super careful with that. I always select these attached orders. Even if I am in a trade and I just want to trail this target up, I'd rather have it in a bracket than manually put that stuff on. Now, if I actually right click some of these areas, I could set buy stops or sell stops if I'm right clicking below the actual market price on the sell column and above the actual market price on the buy column, I can set buy stops or sell stops. Alternatively, if I hit the right click on the mouse in this grayed out area, I can do anything right here. You are given multiple options. If I set a buy stop, you can see this where my buy stop limit is actually set. So once price comes into it, triggers it, ideally I wanna see it move up. Great for breakout trades. Now that was DOM trading on Sierra charts. You could also chart trade on Sierra charts. Now this is a cool little tool. If I go into trade and I go into, if I go into chart trade mode on right here, I can actually trade on the chart and move the actual limits. Another step is actually selecting 
the trading chart DOM on, and you can see once I select that, we have we have the actual DOM here on the right hand side. You can see it appears, and you have a sell and buy column. So again, if I just select right here, you can see you'll have a confirmation button, but you'll have a limit actually down at this level. And what I could do is actually move this. There's two different ways that I just showed you right there if I combine them. And when you do move them, you'll actually have to select the modification button. And if I exit out again, that will close out this position. So if I actually go in here and I want to cancel those modifications or I want to add brackets, I'll just simply open trade window for chart. It pops up the same window right here. If I select use attached orders and I go into confirmations and I just unselect all the confirmations, we'll be given a lot, a lot more liberty in the actual movement and trading on this chart. So let me just unselect all of those, keep this guy over here. Let's make some targets here. Let's take a five tick stop and keep the 10 tick take profit. So now, as you can see, this is the chart DOM on the side right here. I can just move it simply. And if I start adding limits right here, if I have two buy limits at the 67 quarters and 67 halves, what I could actually do is you guys can see this is the stop loss to take profit and this is the actual limit. So I can actually move them here you can see pretty easily, I can move the stop loss as well. I can move them wherever I want. I can move the stops however I want. I can move the take profits however I want on the chart and I can just simply X them out and that will take them out. And again, the sell side right here, I can add sell limits right here and their targets and their stops and move them all on the chart as seen before. Now, what I can do is also cancel all or flatten if I get into the market somewhere here. So it's a really, really interesting and cool tool. If you guys are more visual and don't really like the DOM too much, you could easily use those and move them around. That was how to actually trade on Sierra charts. This is Victorio from Trade Pro Academy. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys want to see more, comment down below what you guys want to see and we will abide. I hope you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you think. Take care, guys.